Okay, what I'm going to just show you here is the effect of ferrites going inside the Slayer um, primary coil. We're running on 24 volts here. Uh, I've just got this globe hooked up here. I've just got uh, uh, hey, two leads. <laughs> the reason this is... Sorry, I'm recording on the iPhone and I don't have a tripod yet or a and he stands, so it's just been kept in place with a series of Neo's uh, Dinium magnets set on my vice. Anyway, that's not important right now. Let me see if I can just get this balanced. I'll just get one of these here, just hooking this up to the base. Okay. Oi! What's happening there is, is that... Oh! Okay. So, that's just an aerial hanging off the other end of the lamp. Okay, now we've got a uh, couple of ferrets, ferrets, couple of ferrites, don't want to be dropping ferrets into it, a couple of ferrites uh, on a Neo and a screwdriver. I'm just going to dump them in the middle of the coil. Wait, what just happened then is that Shorter down on the bottom of the. You don't replicate. Basic oh. shorting out again. The the trouble with this wave out oh, is what I've shown you before. It just jumps straight through the insulation. And it's hopping through on the bottom here. Ow. If I grab it quickly, ow, it still hurts. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Getting it. There's a sweet, you can see that there. Sort of a sweet spot there. The ferrites are immediately, they're, they're starting to get warm. Okay, so if I move this other end, ow, oh, that's burning my fingers at the moment. Ow, 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 but that's the end of the, the other end of the lamp. <laughs> Drop it down there. So, I can't seem to get a better effect on this device by using, you know, the either the, the three quarter inch split copper pipe uh, stuck in a, a similar sized uh, coil which I made, uh, or even you know the uh, the twelve mil or, or half inch copper pipe. I get a much better effect just attaching it to the base and I know others haven't had that effect but I believe and unfortunately I can't prove this because I don't have everybody else's lamps with me but I believe that that effect is due to the globe if I've tried a heap of other globes we I tried this one um, and what happened to this one is that I actually cracked it because the plasma got so hot inside it just uh, heated up the glass to a point where it cracked it and you can see there the filament comes quite close uh, to the glass these sorts of lamps the filament is a lot further away from the glass and my theory is is that um, if that filament was closer to the glass well I don't even know what happened then it just went brighter if that filament was closer to the glass it would uh, just give me plasma but because there's nowhere for the plasma to find an earth then it just basically is heating up the filament that's my take on it I could be totally wrong and it wouldn't be the first time but from what I'm looking at and you know, even globes like this one here this this lamp here is a uh, how is it 24 volts 21 watt so you would think with this system it would work really well, and which it does if you hook it straight up to, to the batteries. 
but in this setup it just will give plasma and it's a completely different filament once again you can see the filament is relatively close to the glass when compared to a lamp like this so Slayer Kasha device and Delamorto I don't know what you want to call it but I would love to see somebody else with a similar household lamp like this with a filament that's got plenty of room uh, between itself and the uh, the outer edge of the lamp just hook it up to the base of your Kasha and, or your Slayer or if you want to call it and see if you get similar results if I now take, now that's got a lot brighter on it, I've got no idea why if I take the ferrites out, see there's this bright spot there too and that's just at the top of the coil Boy, <laughs> screwdriver is quite hot as well I'm just putting the, both ferrites on the same side, side now rather than um, opposite poles just to see what it dims it all the way down. Anyway, I don't know what you can make of that, but uh, that's just been my experience with it anyway. I'm pretty impressed with that lighting of that lamp. I wouldn't expect, that's a 25 watt lamp, I wouldn't expect it to get a lot higher than that. Um, it is... Uh, out of a um, festoon party light setup, and they don't they don't get very bright. And in fact, you know, I'd, I'd say that's pretty close to its maximum, if not its maximum. Um, amperage. I, well, when I've measured this at um, 12 volts, we're pulling 950 amps. I haven't measured it at 24 volts, but uh, just by looking at the brightness of that lamp and the other things that I've seen with this setup I would say it's pulling more amps now and there's an extraordinary amount of heat coming off that uh, that transistor I'm just touching the uh, ow, collector so you know with all that heat plus you know there's this you know good deal amount of heat coming off here as well uh, we'd be over one amp so no claims here of uh, even unity let alone over unity but what I what I do find in, interesting is this whole aerial effect here. If that hits, if that touches the ground, the uh, oscillations, or, or well, I don't know if the oscillations stop, but certainly what stops is the uh, the going of the lamp. And I'll just drop that on the workbench, and it goes off, so you can see that. Hopefully, that's helpful and uh, someone else can replicate or tell me if I'm nuts or uh, I, you know, I've, I've heard this phenomena explained before that what's happening here is that this is basically oops, acting like an aerial and uh, that's basically completing the circuit that was shorting out inside my, that's shorting out inside the the plastic there at the moment, right inside there, and you can see the smoke coming out of it. That's my skin burning. I'll put that down. And even when I've just put that down on the bench now, you can't see it. I'll see if I can get a shot of it. But it's giving off plasma off the end of the aerial, or it's. Let's see if we can focus that. Anyway, you can probably see that purple haze there, and it's melting the uh, the Teflon. and yet our lamp is still brightly lit so we're getting plasma all the way well we're getting this is the aerial lead don't forget so we're getting the filament lit and we're getting plasma off the other end anyway hopefully some of you will find that interesting